What's going on guys, this is Gaines Gaming. Today we are going to be going over the arms training event with Lohar here. We are going to walk you guys through how to get the best score possible in order to get the highest ranking as you can. So rank one right now is going to be 20 golden heads, 2000 gems, and tons of speed ups. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the best ways to accomplish this event, plus what order you should do these skills in. Cause you can see here, you activate skills, which make the Lohar a little bit harder as you go. And the skills are very, very, very important. So make sure you stay tuned in this video to see exactly how you should go about this event in order to get as high up as you can in the rankings. So first of all, what we wanna do is make sure you have a expansion. So this is gonna be very, very important. If you are aiming for the very, very top ranks, you will have to do a 50% expansion. I am only gonna be doing a 25% expansion because I am not gonna be pushing for top rank in this one. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to get the best scores possible. If you wanna get the very, very top scores, use a 50% expansion. I saved these for war, and so I'm gonna be using a 25% since this is just an event. So we're gonna be using this. We are also going to be using an attack. I do have one already from Ark of Cyrus today, so I'm just gonna keep that right here. So 5% attack. If you have a 10% token, you can use that as well. You will also want to find a rune. And so reset just hit, so I'm not sure if there's going to be any runes here. But ideally, you want to get a defense, attack, or health rune in order to get the best scores possible. And so ideally, you want to have a rune, but we don't have any of the guardians yet. And so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to get the best scores without a rune but you will obviously get a better score if you have like a defense health or attack rune so that's going to be more ideal same with this troop expansion this will still get you a good score not going to get you as good of a score as if you had a 50 percent expansion so then let's talk about commanders i think some of the best commanders to use are going to be high dps marches so if you have like an xy nevsky that's going to be perfection you also want to have something that's going to provide you shields and so what I like to use for this event is going to be an Alex and Martel. This is going to give you a lot of damage plus the shields stack up. And so that's going to be a lot of defense that you get from this march. I could use my Guan CPO, but to start, I'm just going to go for my Charles and Alex. So first thing I have to do is take off my gear here and switch it over to my main set of gear. So I got to go over to my Guan, take this off. And so make sure you have your best gear on your march as well. You are not going to be able to heal during this event as well. And so make sure you don't use something like Richard thinking that you're going to heal throughout the way. It cannot receive any healing until the training ends. So Richard is not going to do any healing. Zenobi is not going to do any healing. If you use a Lohar, it's not going to heal after, the, after you defeat it. So make sure you use something that is not using healing because it's not going to work. And so what we want to do is go into activate skill. And we are going to be using ancestral protection first. So whenever attacked, Lohar has a 10% chance to gain a shield. Damage factor 800 for 5 seconds. So we're going to activate this. It does cost 10 action points per attempt. So we're going to go ahead and hit attack. We are going to go into our Charles Martel and Alex. We're going to use full T5. If you don't have T5, obviously use T4 or whatever you have available. We are going to be using T5. And then another thing you want to do, I'm not going to be doing this just because I, I have my little farm colony here but ideally you want to be on territory. So again, if you are pushing for a very top rank, try teleporting into like the middle of your territory so that regardless of where you spawn the Lohar, you are going to be fighting in territory. This is going to give you a lot of buffs with the Alliance tech. And so make sure you are in Alliance territory when you are fighting these Lohars, because that is going to go a very long way in how you get through this event. And the way scoring works, every single time you defeat this, you get 10,000 points. In the very end, however many troops you have left gets you bonus points. And so 300,000 points is the very highest you can get just from defeating the Barbarians. But getting above 300,000 is just having troops left over after you defeat the highest Barbarian. And so obviously this is going to increase in difficulty as we go. We've only lost about 2,000 troops as of right now. Like I said, healing is not going to work. And so you want to make sure you do not use anything that you're reliant on healing. And then after every three levels, you're gonna be able to add a second skill on here. And so we are just about to add our second skill. And so I'll show you guys what the best second skill is to add for the arms training here. And so the best thing you can get with the Charles and Alex pair is going to be the instant procs from Alex doing tons of damage, but um, that's gonna go a very long way. Plus you get some of the rewards here. 
this is going to add into the Esmeralda's Prayer. So I've been saving up these tokens to get that city skin. I really hope I can get these 10 legendary commander sculptures as well. So I might spend some gems to do that, but we'll see when we get there. And if we go back to the arms training, so every one of these chests you're going to get another coin. At the very end you get four coins. This is definitely something worth doing on your account. So in total you're going to get seven coins from this event, plus the rewards at the very top as well. And so if you can rank at the very top, you're going to get even better rewards from this event. So the second skill we are going to add is going to be Thrill of Battle. So this is a passive skill. Every 10 seconds, Lohar's troops will increase their attack and defense by 10%, maximum 100%. So ideally, you want to defeat this, this guy as soon as you can. So we're going to go ahead and begin an instant proc there with Alex, which is exactly what we want. It's really a lot of luck when it comes to Alex with those. And so the more you get those, the better. And obviously, you can use Season of Conquest commanders, but I'm trying to make this so that basically anybody can use this pair. And so using this Charles Alex is going to be a little bit more friendly to like free-to-play players, low-spend players, and people that just aren't in Season of Conquest yet. And most people have Alex, and most people have Charles Martel. And so just using this, this pair is going to be a really good example of what you can do when you're outside of Season of Conquest, or you just don't have the commanders available to you that are going to be the best ones, such as like XY Nevsky. That's obviously going to do very, very well, but I'm trying to use something that is going to be viable for anybody that watches this video. And that, that's really my goal here with the channel is to provide value for everyone that from high spenders, low spenders, medium spenders, free to play, everybody. One thing I forgot to mention is that using War Frenzy will help as well. Add an extra 3% attack. So I'll just scout one of my farms here. Gain 3% attack. Make sure you keep on doing this so you keep that War Frenzy. Just if you are off territory and in KVK, make sure you are on territory so you don't get zeroed while you're doing while you are doing the Lohar event here. Um, just make sure you don't do that because that would be very unfortunate if you got imprisoned and then zeroed while you were trying to do the arms training event. So uh, make sure you are on territory if you do that or you are in a safe space to use War Frenzy. So the Wheel of Battle during an engagement battle when Lohar's troops were reduced by to 50%. After 10 seconds, it immediately heals to 30% of troops. So we're going to choose that one. We're going to come over here and start attacking. All right, and I'm going to fast forward through these next three attacks just so we can get to the next skill. And I'll walk you guys through every other skill that we go through until the very end of the event. So that way I can get you guys the best value in the quickest amount of time as possible. So we are going to fast forward. I'll put it in like two times speed so we can get through it as soon as possible here. All right, and so for the fourth skill, we are going to be adding no retreat. So when Lohar's troop strength is lower than 50%, his troops deal an extra 20% normal attack damage, 20% counterattack, and take 20% less skill damage. So we're going to activate that. All right, and so for the fifth skill, you're going to be adding Wild Rage. So attacks will have a 10% chance to deal extra damage, damage factor at 1000, and silence the target for three seconds. We got lucky here, we're gonna stay on Alliance territory, so we're going ahead and attack this one here. All right, and then we can add our next skill here. So we're going to be adding Malignant Venom. So Lohar's troops add a stack of poison with each attack, lasting 10 seconds, stacking to 30 times. Each stack increases damage taken by all sources by 1%. So we are going to go ahead and attack this one now.
All right, so for the next skill, we are going to go ahead and go to the Armor of Thorns. So this is going to increase all defense, the troops by Lohar by 10%, and increase counterattack damage by 50%. So we're going to go ahead and defeat this one here. All right, so we're going to activate our next skill. We're going to do Iron Resolve. So troops led by Lohar have a 100% chance to gain 200 Rage whenever attacked, and troops led by you will also gain 50 Rage. So we're going to go ahead and challenge this one here. We got two more skills left until the very end. So you can see here we are the first one so far. So we'll see where we line up in the rankings after we finish the event. We'll see how many more points we get over 300,000 because that's really what matters. Most people that are T5 finish the 300,000 pretty easily. It's really how many extra points you get on top of that that matter for your ranking. One reason why that skill, like it seems like it would be really, really good for Lohar, getting 200 rage every second. But courtesy of John Wick, we know that you can't really gain that much rage per second because you're going to overrage. You could see there that he was overraging a lot and he really didn't fire off that many skills compared to me gaining an extra 50 per attack where I was I was not overraging really at all. And I was able to keep my shield almost that entire battle even though he couldn't throw off a single skill because he was just overraging the entire time. So that, that's one reason why that skill isn't as great as it seems like it would be. All right, so our next skill that we're going to activate right here is Surging Strike. So when using skills, Lohar immediately recovers 100 Rage and it increases normal attack damage by 100% for 3 seconds. So this is the second to last skill. We got one more skill left to finish it off here. All right, so now we can activate our last skill here, so Strike of Vengeance. Lohar's troops have a 10% chance on the attack to dish out an additional Strike of Vengeance, dealing a damage equal to 500% of normal attack. Whenever damaged by a skill, immediately retaliate with a Strife of Vengeance. So this is going to do tons of damage. This one really kills you at the end, so this is why it's the last skill. And so I have 190,000 troops going into this one. I would presume that I will have a little less than 100,000 at the very end of these three rounds here. So we'll see how we do on this one. So now we are down to 181,000. 
those heals that he gets at the end there when he gets below 30 percent are pretty nasty as well i believe that's the 50 percent chance of him healing at 30 percent which i think heals him back up to 50 percent and so that that goes a long way as well but i mean these last couple rounds get a lot harder you can see i am yellow now down to 181,000 troops so i am down about 79,000 troops as of right now i am hoping to be above 100,000. Ideally, I want to be closer to 150, but I would not be surprised if I was lower than that. You can see here, even when I have my shield, he is doing damage to me. Not right here, but before. So even at the end of that shield, he's still doing damage because he's doing quite a bit more at this point. Especially with that 500% extra damage that he's doing. When I cast a skill, he does 500% chance, 500% more damage to me. And so that, that adds up quite a bit as well. Plus that healing at the end there, really, really nasty. And then that extra damage taken, 30%, that adds up quite a bit as well. So you can see this event, the, the order that you choose to do things really matters. And that is why I'm making this video to allow people to know how to do this event in the best way possible in order to get this best score they can possibly get. So this is going to be the last round here, I believe. So we are, looks like we are going to finish above 150,000. So we'll see how many points that gets us there at the end. Um, and we'll see what place we finish in right away. This is obviously right after reset. We are at 35 UTC. And so here we go. Uh, just finished that one there. We got 300,000 points from defeating Lohar. 6,565 points remaining for the troops that we had left over. So we had about 170,000 troops to finish that event. And that gave us about 306,000 points. So we'll go ahead, we'll send my troops back. So 100, 170,700 troops. You can see all my farms coming back right now as well. Uh, but we'll go into here and we'll see how we did. So we are rank one right now, 306,565 points. So that puts us in first place. Looks like Ali the Potato just got 304,000 points. That's a great score. We'll see what we get here at the very end. But as of right now, we are in that rank one spot. I don't expect her to stay there very long. I have seen people get upwards of 309,000. That is very, very impressive. Those are people who obviously use the 50% expansion, use Season of Conquest commanders, most likely were in Season of Conquest KVK with the technology, and also might have had like a general title or even the king title. All those go a very long way in getting the best scores possible. So like I said, some of the best things you can do and something that I would recommend you to do is be on Alliance territory, request a title, get a rune, use your boost in the advanced or the basic army expansion, and then obviously use an enhanced attack or an enhanced defense for this event. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see videos like it in the future, please drop a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see in the future. I'll make sure I make a video on it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining in.